Hi everybody, welcome to my channel that I would be good. My name is Kelly and today I'm going to do my version of a five minute fireside on the fly and hopefully in one take. So I saw these five minute firesides posted by LDS Living and I saw one by Brad Wilcox whom I love and it's called You Were Born to Change the World and I thought it was really great um, just the way the, the information that he was able to present in such a short amount of time so I thought I'm going to give it a try. So the thought that I wanted to share today was about our minds, how there's so much more in there than what we realize. We only have access to about 10% of what's going on in there. Some people call it the conscious or the unconscious mind, or the, the conscious and the unconscious mind. And so we only have access to about 10% of our brains or our minds, which would be our conscious minds, where we do our thinking and our learning and our understanding and formulating thoughts and things like that. And everything else in the background is just kind of like a computer just recording everything and tracking everything and so it's all in there but is it in there just from birth i believe our minds are so much more than that i believe that we lived prior to coming to this earth in a place called a pre-mortal world as a spirit child of our heavenly parents heavenly father and heavenly mother and our elder brother Jesus Christ and I believe that we existed there for eons and eons and eons prior to coming to this world to gain a physical body and to be tried and tested and learn and grow so where are all those memories because if we existed like that then there's got to be memories but if we had them then it wouldn't really be like a trial or a test and we wouldn't really need to learn or grow because we would already have the information that we had from before. Think of it like not only is everything in the background what's going on unconsciously, we also have a lot of things going on in the background spiritually. You could look at it kind of like those thoughts and memories are behind a curtain or like a bride getting married puts a veil over her face and is blocking the rest of her, the rest of our memories and thoughts from our pre-mortal life are behind what's called a veil. So I believe that we have access to everything that we need mentally, emotionally, spiritually, all of the faculties, we have access to everything. We are our own spiritual authorities and we can at times, I believe, have glimpses at those memories and thoughts. And if you think about it, when we learn new things here on earth, if we already have those thoughts and memories from our pre-mortal life, then it's not like it's really learning something. It's just remembering it. We already have a life's mission statement. We just can't remember what it was. This life is to figure out what our purpose is and what we are to do and at times we can have inspiration or access to our intuition to access what we need from behind that veil or behind that curtain or to look at it as temporary access to knowledge from our higher self. So once I understood that and then realized that not only do we have all of our memories and thoughts from our pre-mortal life, we also have all of the spiritual gifts. I know because of the patriarchal blessing that I got when I was 17, for example, that I have the gift of discernment. But if you think about it, we actually have all of the spiritual gifts. And the ones that we find out about in our patriarchal blessings are just kind of like scratching the surface of what the possibilities are. If there's a time in your life where you think you might need a different spiritual gift, then you could certainly work towards and strive towards uncovering that spiritual gift, gaining access to it. Kind of like a really fun archaeological dig behind that veil of forgetfulness. And that veil of forgetfulness was necessary so that 
we could actually prove ourselves based on the knowledge that we gain and the efforts that we make in this life. And thankfully, because of the gift of the Savior's Atonement, when we do fall short, which we all do and we all will continue to do so, we are able to come back from that and to learn and to grow. So imagine teaching that to your children that everything that they have or that they need, knowledge-wise, spiritual gift-wise, is all in there. You just have to remember it. You have to access it. And you have the option, you have the possibility to access it. Your divine nature is in there. Your true self is in there. Your higher self is in there. You just have to discover it. You just have to remember. So it's not learning, it's remembering. So that was my thought for the day, my little five minute fireside. You guys take care. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.